Yeah, I mean, just like I told the guys in the locker room, uh, every win's a good win, but it wasn't a, a, our best performance. Uh, obviously, especially on, on defense, uh, our ability to run the football today was was a huge part of the re, um, reason for our success and the points that we scored. And so we knew that going into the game. Uh, I think we had a pretty good idea that we were going to be able to, you know, get into some heavier personnel groupings, two tight ends, two backs, and be able to run the football. I think we had confidence. We knew that. Um, so that was a good thing, and uh, still stuff we got to clean up you know, in terms of we ha we have to, we have to be able to convert third downs, and so be able to keep drives. And you know our defense played 96 plays, and some of that's on us, and uh, on us on offense, and then I've seen special teams as well. We you know give them the ball back. We talked about can't uh, give extra possessions, and we did that multiple times today. Uh, to me, part of that is guys have to be ready to play when their numbers called. They have to be ready to go. You're sitting on the sideline over there, and then when that situation happens. Uh, unside kick gets called up or a hands team. Uh, you got to be able to go in there and execute the the hands team. And so, from a from a win, we're we're always going to be excited about a win. I, I said that like, you know, if we went 11 and 0 and everybody said, hey, that, you had 11 bad wins, <laughs> I'll sign me up. And I'll take that. Uh, but we know we're a better football team than that. Uh, really, in all three areas. Uh, you know, I'd say offensively, running the ball was good. Um, but we have to be able to convert third downs and then defensively. That, that was not good at all. And then, obviously, with the uh, special teams mistakes, so we got to clean those up as well. So, but again, another another close game in the Pioneer Football League. You know, that's the way it works. And we say it all the time. No, there's no score that would surprise me in the league. Um, you know, no matter no matter who it is. And you can see that just with our scores. Uh, we could easily be sitting at top of the league undefeated, and, but we're not. We're not. You know, so don't don't make excuses. But that's how that's how close it is, and the details, the details, and the preparation every week matter. Yeah, guys. Same bite size and times. Um, coach just kind of starting out. I mean, you kind of knew this is the sort of football that they play. You know, in games like like that they were playing this year, got the high score. So were you expecting? I mean, 65, 55. I mean, uh, on both sides. Or no, nah, I was disappointed with our defense. You know, you talk, you know, they do score some points, but that being said, over the last few weeks, you know, teams um, just with the same, you know, same talent level that we have, um, you know, we're able, you know, Stetson last week held him 14. Right? Um, so it, it, disappointing. You, can, you know, you just tell my voice, just disappointed with how, how we played. And um, we we're, you know, we were good in spurts there early on defense. Um, to, to get the lead, which is a huge factor in the game, you know. But there at the end, we couldn't get a stop and, you know, made the game a lot longer and a lot higher score than it had, had to be. Sure. So. You mentioned earlier, just your two running backs today. I mean, you end up, I think, eight rushing touchdowns is a small record for a game. Just how big were these two throughout the game, really? You guys, you know, yeah. Yeah, I'd say this, like, we challenge the O line, so let's give them credit, you know, first and foremost. like. We, we told them they have to, you know, come off the ball and, and get a push. And um, if you looked at the terms of just the discrepancy of <coughs> their our O line height and weight compared compared to their D line, I mean, it's some it's it's an advantage to us. And then obviously you got these two guys that are really really good players. Uh, it speaks for themselves. I mean, you saw that today. I probably don't need to say much about that. I mean, obviously just you can watch it. Um, but we're excited. I know both of them will say the same thing. We're excited in terms of the push that we were able to get on the O line. To create some holes when we had them, um, they hit them. <laughs> yeah, uh, Nick, uh, when you guys when you cut it down, or I'm sorry, it was just to start the game. I mean, three touchdowns in, in ten minutes for you. Um, I mean, what was it that was? I mean, obviously, field position played a lot into that. But what was it early on that kind of let you guys get that jump? Because that was pretty critical for you guys to be up early, given that they just never went away. Um, for me personally, I would say it was the offensive line. They did a great job holding on to their blocks, and you know, I was just a product of that. So, oh, I was just saying that. You know, I was just a product of that, and I was just reading my holes, reading what they gave me, and taking advantage of it. You ended up with four touchdowns. That's that's highest score record, I believe, for most in the, most in the game for running back. Uh, so what is that? You probably don't know that. No, nah, I didn't what know that. that. What does that mean to you? That's kind of a cool number. Oh, um, that's great to hear. I actually didn't know that. Um, you know, it's a good accomplishment to have. But like I said again, I couldn't have done it without the offensive line. They did a great job today. Yeah, Robert. Did you Picked up some big runs today. You saw a lot of big chunks, especially in the middle of the game. I mean, 
just be just super really cool. Um, and you guys, when they end up cutting it to three points there late in the fourth quarter, I mean, offensively, you guys got to be thinking, yeah, we can go down and score a tenth, right? You know, I mean, I mean what, what was that kind of like at, at that time? Because you guys had a big lead, they got into it, and only up three. I mean, what are you guys thinking on the sidelines? Um, at least had it before the game. We just were trying to score every drive. Um, we had to capitalize on what the defense gave us. Like Coach Fox said, we had an advantage, I would say, talent-wise in the offense, in the old line, from all the way through the field, from receivers, from running backs. So I, I just mean, we knew they were going to unside kick it. Never been a part of that in my life. But we knew they were going to unside kick it, so we had to capitalize every moment we had. So we just did what we needed to do. I mean, they're used to having to play a lot of defensive snaps. Um, but can you see them getting a little bit tired as the game went along? I mean, probably both defense were suffering from that. But I mean, was it getting easier as the game went uh, to run against them? Or I guess you guys are fighting your own fatigue too. Well, um, we started off hot. Like Nick, he had three touchdowns had a long run. Um, so I, I think we just capitalized on Omar got great push today. And as long as you get good good push, you know, it'll make, it makes my job super easy. I just run straight. <laughs> so. It is, you know, it's nothing that nothing you have to do. But uh, yeah, the game did as the game went on. They still, they still were in it a little bit with their offense being on the field. But again, we just capitalized. Yeah, I know it's hard to talk about somebody that's right next to you, but for Nick, I mean, his game seems to really complement yours really well. Um, and for him to have the start that he had, I mean, it's not nice to have that other back with you um, that can kind of do the exact same thing you did. I don't know, you can kind of play off one another. I mean, you know, for me, it's tough for defenses. You know. Uh, that's how you want to do it at any level, um, especially D1. You want to have one back and then the next back come in and you're seeing something similar. And that's what makes us a great offense. And that's, we were the product of that today when we had 65 points. You know, it kind of hurt my stomach. Even though we won, I'm happy. It hurt my stomach. I'm like, we could have won all year. And um, so we're just going to try to turn out the season strong. But yes, it is great having Nick here with me. It just, you know, it does compliment. You know, he runs him over and then that gives me a chance to shoot. So, so it, it definitely is that one-two punch. Yeah, I mean, is that fair to say? I mean, it's kind of the same thing. I mean, having him, it's, it's kind of nice to have that sort of compliment to your own. Yeah, I agree with everything Rob said. You know, it's nice to have that one-two punch and, you know, be able to use our athleticism to expose the defense and, you know, do great things. That's where I think the advantage, you talk about an advantage, I think that's the, where the advantage came in. You know, you say, hey, you did you wear them down? Did it, we wear down? Well. We, we can give it to two different guys. And I think that's you know that's where the, that advantage comes into play, where you got a one guy can get it here, and the next guy can get it there. And, and that's big. You know. Yeah. Coach, you kind of brought this up earlier, and I made your question, but when they do cut it to three, um, you guys mentioned that they're almost feel like they have to score every time. Um, you know, what do you guys not lose? It kind of been easy to lose control or lose points there after they come back. I mean, just, is there something to be said for the fact that you guys were able to then go out and score and then stop them? Yeah, you know, I think sometimes, you know, I, I lose sight of the fact that we're still early in this thing in terms of staff. I mean, our staff, three, I mean, two, what, two and a half, two, almost three years, I guess. Um, in terms of, you know, I think prior, a couple of years ago, like we, we would, that would have been, that sideline would have been, oof, oh, a lot of nerves. And we just, I think we felt comfortable with what we were doing offensively and the ability to run the ball. I mean, with these two guys, that, that helped. And I, yeah, I tell you, the one play that you know, in terms of if you said, "Hey, did you get a little nervous?" And I knew our naked pass that we hit to, to Robert late in the game that had a pretty good chance. If we didn't, if we maybe if we didn't hit that one, and I don't know, but like pretty had a pretty good idea that one was had a chance to come free, and we were able to hit it and push the ball down the field. And their quarterback, I mean, he's had games like this. Where Some yeah, breakdowns break down in the secondary. And then, um, you know, they do, they do some good things in zone coverage. They understand route combinations. Uh, so they do a good, good job with that. Uh, yeah, but that, that was, you know, breakdown in, in, in pass coverage, uh, missed tackles. Uh, so have to watch the film and then go back and, and reevaluate, you know, our game plan and how we did it. And, and the big thing is move on to next week. Next week we got a big one. Uh, next week's. One that we talk about all year long, all year long around here. So. Yeah, that, that, that's the last thing I want to ask you guys about. But I mean, for, for next week, to have a game kind of like this, where I'm sure you're worn down uh, after after that many snaps, that many reps, I, just, I, I hate to say it right after this game, but how, how much are you guys looking forward to, to next week already? I'm new to it. Well, I said it last year, but I am looking forward to it. Do not like those guys. So <laughs> it would be good. 
de- definitely the top off the season. We we gotta win next week, and we gotta we gotta do it like we did on the offensive end of the day. We just gotta. I, I hope to blow them out. So that's gonna be the mindset. Yeah, the kind of same question. I mean, something like a game like today, you probably carry over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anywhere where there's a battle, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs>